Hello, so this is an eight marker from the Coast section of the GCC course. Discuss the political, social and economic impacts of sea level rise in a place you have studied. So just to analyse the question first, we've got to discuss. Um, so this means we've got to do some uh, weighing up, if we can, so kind of weighing up the arguments um, and kind of coming to a bit of an opinion on, on the question. So discuss the political, social and economic impacts of sea level rise in a place you have studied. Um, the, the other key things in here, political, social and economic. Oh, it's a bit of a challenge. Can we get all three in there? I'm thinking, can I do a, a little, maybe a peel paragraph on political, one on social and one on economic um, for sea level rise in a place you've studied. Right, place I've studied, got to get it in there to get up to level two or level three. And the place we have studied in the world is Tuvalu. Tuvalu, a small uh, um, set of islands, nine islands in the Pacific Ocean. So here we go, three little peel paragraphs, political, social and economic. Firstly, I think I'm going to go for economic. So in Tuvalu, economic impacts of sea level rise. That's the fire alarm testing there. <laughs> Include the destruction uh, of crop yields. Just get a case study fact in there because I know this, e.g. coconuts, uh, due to salt water contaminating the water table. Uh, fishing industries are also affected. Um, as waters warm and the island nation uh, sinks. So I made my point, destruction of crop yields, fishing industry is affected. So that's the point. Now can we develop it? So this means that, good connective phrase, uh, local people are losing um, or will lose their livelihoods um, as the island another case study fact here is predicted to disappear in 50 years and because it's 8 marks I've got 8 minutes this I can see on the time we've had 3 already so let's get going on the next one um, the social yeah, the social impacts of sea level rise are also negative. So a bit of a discussion there. We're saying it's negative, really. A sea level rise issue, also negative. Uh, another case study fact. The 11,200 people of Tuvalu are in danger of completely uh, losing their island culture right, so uh, the point there negative and they're going to lose their island culture let's develop it so this would result in a connective phrase link our statements this would result in future generations not being able uh, to experience Precious ancient culture. I can spell ancient. Ancient culture. If it is lost. Right, so we've done economic, fantastic. We've done social. We're discussing because we're saying it's negative and we've developed our points. Okay, finally, this is my third one. I've got to do political now. So I've done economic and social. Uh, politically, the spell politically correctly, the uh, Tuvaluan government um, have to deal with the controversial issue of evacuation. 
that's my point. Bit of a bit of a fat evacuation. Okay, so in fact, it's already uh, taking place in a managed fashion. I'm going some extra space here uh, to New Zealand and Australia. Uh, the government has also had to um, arrange employment schemes um, for the people leaving, also for evacuees. Right, just develop it to finish off now. Um, so um, let's develop this. So the evacuation. Um, could result in, could literally result in, the um, Tuvalu and government, Tuvalu and government, ceasing to exist. If the, or case study fact, the nine islands of the country are lost to the C. So I've done the political, social, economic, develop them all. Just thinking it might be lacking a little bit of discussion if I'm going to get eight marks. So just a final sentence then. Overall, all the impacts uh, are negative. Uh, but I feel the most significant is the potential complete loss of ancient culture. So I think that's actually quite important to add. I'm just going to put brackets on that last sentence in there um, because it just adds that element of discussion. It really does answer the question because if we go back to it, it says discuss the political, social and economic impacts of sea rise in a place you have studied. So... We've done political, we've done social, we've done economic, we've developed them all, used some case study information, and we've discussed. There we go.